Hey everybody, it's Christy Nazaro back with another fun tutorial for Stencil Girl. Today I'm going to be making a rainbow tag book and I'm just going through the stencils that I've used for this project. Stencil Girl has a ton of um, rainbow stencils that really made this project easy. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I have uh, gathered a tag which is four and three quarters quarter inches by two and three eight inches. Now you don't have to use this exact tag. You can use any size tag that you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and trace these onto watercolor paper. I ended up, I think, tracing six of them and only ended up using four of the tags. Now that you have all of your tags traced, you're going to want to go ahead and cut those out. Like I said, I only ended up using four and I saved the rest for another project. Now that you have your tags cut out, what we're going to do next is we're going to tape them together end to end. I use the sticky back canvas tape from Dina Wakely. You could use masking tape. I wouldn't recommend washi tape because once you really get these tags wet, I think that it wouldn't stick as well. So I went long end to long end and taped that together first. And once it's taped together, you just wanna fold it so that um, it's a little bit more flexible. And then I took short end to short end and taped that together. And you're gonna to wanna to do that with all four tags. I only taped on one side because I had tried it earlier and I taped both sides of the tags and it was way too thick. And then the tag book wouldn't fold uh, together very well. Now that your tag book is all taped together, go ahead and add a very light wash of watercolor onto both the front and the back of the tag books. I use very, very light, kept adding water, a um, little bit of color, a lot of water, and I actually used rainbow colors, as you'll see once it's all finished being painted. Now that my book is drying, I just took the other stencils and painted those as well with watercolors so that I would have all kinds of additional elements to put into my tag book.
Now that the book is all dry, and you really wanna make sure that it's, it's really dry as you start to add the additional elements for your book. So I had gone ahead and I cut out all of the stencils that I had painted um, to add into my book. Now this one is part of the Ray Missigman stencil, the swatch stencil. I made it as a rainbow, but then I cut it into like little cute pizza slices. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these elements and add them into my book. Now that I have all of my elements, I use the Dina Wakely typed ledger sheets to add all of the words for inside the book. Um, these sheets are really helpful if you don't know what to say and you just want to put little quotes, etc., into your book. Those are awesome because they're already typed up for you. So I just went ahead, I added all kinds of words and sayings into this book um, to go with my rainbow theme. I wanted it to be full of positivity, which it is. And as you can see, added all kinds of words. And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my markers and gel pens and colored pencils and just add marks throughout the whole entire book. Now that my book is full of marks and it's exactly the way that I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and just punch some holes only on the front cover and the back cover, um, not through the whole entire book because I just want it to tie very loosely closed with a piece of fabric. So I just punched the front cover there and you'll see I punched the back cover, making sure that I didn't punch into the element of the rainbow that I added. And there you have it, my friends. This is a rainbow tag book. I think you, there are so many possibility, possibilities with this book. You can put pictures in it to commemorate a trip. You can put quotes in it. There are a ton of things that you can do to make this book your own. I can't wait to see what you make. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.